What's up, YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope you guys are doing well out there on this Thursday evening. I'm doing pretty good myself. I come across this particular situation right here about the hospital caring right here to you, right? Accusing this young man right here, this young black man, of actually stealing her rental uh, bike, okay? Weaponizing her tears to actually try to get this man locked up or even in worst cases, killed, okay? That's just what it is. And then as you're gonna see in the video that I'm gonna show you, she's gonna start this little process, her little weaponized in the tears process, and then cut it off just like that, you understand? Now, there are some conflicting stories going on that um, she actually has receipts to prove, you know, that uh, it was, you know, she bought the rental bike. So her lawyer says, but let's check this particular video out and then we'll get into the commentary. The roughly two minute video starts with a white woman wearing hospital scrubs straddling a city bike, screaming for help, even though she doesn't appear to be in danger. Please help me. This is not your bike, repeats the young black man standing next to her who says he just rented that city bike. His friends standing around him. Right, this is my bike, this is on my account. Please, please get off. While the video doesn't show the young man touching her, it does show her remove her hospital badge, then grab the young man's phone. Oh, you took his phone. The woman then tells him he's hurting her fetus. Hey, 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 hey. When a man, also in scrubs, inquires what's wrong, the woman all of a sudden appears to begin sobbing. When the man tells the woman to choose another bike, she calmly removes herself. Another young man recording the video can be heard saying, well, How do you stop crying? Not a, not a tear came down, miss. We do not know what happened before the recording began at the city bike stand near East 30th and 1st Avenue. But many are blasting the hospital worker, a physician's assistant who NYC Health and Hospitals Bellevue say appears to work for them. The city hospital group saying they are sorry this happened and are reviewing the incident. Civil rights attorney Ben Crump tweeting, this is unacceptable. And she grossly tried to weaponize her tears to paint this man as a threat. This is exactly the type of behavior that has endangered so many black men in the past. No one answered at the woman's Brooklyn apartment or returned our calls for comment. This woman lives in her building. That woman lives in this building with me? Another neighbor who knows the woman in the video told us off camera he believes the incident is being blown out of proportion. But this neighbor says the young men could have ended up in jail or worse. It's clearly like a Karen, a Central Park Karen. She's referring to the Central Park incident where a woman walking her dog called 911 on a black bird watcher. She thinks that she's viewed as victim because she's white. And she thinks that that's obvious in this America that we all live in. Now it's obvious to me that this woman is lying. You know why I know she's lying? Because the way she faked the little tears and then cut it off just like that. That's how I know she's a liar. And I hope they actually fire her ass and I hope this man right here pursued charges on hit on her for even, you know, harassing him. Basically, it was harassment, even assault by her even putting her body on him and lying and saying that he was hurting her. All assault right here. You understand what I mean? Because obviously she, she's a liar. She lied about the fake tears. So therefore, she's lying about this particular rental bike right here. She ain't got no receipts to prove a damn thing. I don't care what her attorney says. She is a liar. And it's plain, it's clear to see that. You know what I mean? See, right here it says, um, receipts show the white hospital worker accused in viral video of trying to steal a black man's rental bike, paid for it herself, lawyer says. Naturally, he gonna lie for it because he's a sleazy you know, lawyer, they do that. You know, this woman right here is a liar. Now, I hope this young man right here filed charges on her ass, you know, for assault and, and accusing him of something that he did not do. And I hope she gets fired. I, I really do. Because, see, it's too many incidents like this that has happened to black men and black women, you know. And then, see, uh, you get these low lifes like this woman right here. They see it and they figure they can get away with it because there's so many incidents like this is going on. Pointing the fingers and telling lies on somebody black, black men mainly. 
You see, getting them in trouble or hurt or what have you. See? Now, nah. yeah, she should be arrested for this right here. And that's just all there is to it. Fake tears and all, you know. I want you guys to tell me what you think about this particular situation right here. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts, views, and opinions on it in the comment section. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And people, please remember to live your life as though we're being watched. Simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.